I'm here with the protests about the North West Relief Road in front of uh, Shropshire Council and I'd just like to ask the question about who this is benefiting, who's, who's making the decision about this road because it just seems like madness. There's, there's been a climate emergency that has been uh, declared uh, over a year ago by this council um, and all the decisions that seem to be made are against that climate emergency. It is an emergency and the right thing needs to be done for the people of Shropshire and Shropshire Council are not doing the right thing for the people, they're not representing the people and I'd like to ask who are they representing when they make these decisions. There needs to be less cars on the road so um, the transition to electric cars is going to be slow and we need to have less cars. You, put, you build more roads, you have more cars. So it's just counterproductive, it's absolute madness. Shropshire Council want to get cars out of our town centres. Perhaps they should invest in a rail link for Oswald Street. The people of Oswald Street don't need a ring road around Shrewsbury. We need our town pedestrianised so that it's suitable for people, not for their cars. One in five children in Shropshire live in poverty, many of them in Oswald Street. So why are we spending £17 million on the North West Relief Road in Shrewsbury? Perhaps the money would be better spent creating places for people and wildlife. The council is um, in debt, it's struggling. Um, obviously we've got um, you know, real problems with, with um, lockdown and everything um, and they want to spend at least 17 million plus. They take the risk so it's going to be more than that. There'll be overspend on this road and it's going to cost the people of Shropshire. This is the, this is the money from the people of Shropshire that's been wasted and I want to know why that's happening. Um, and meanwhile, as you can see on this sign, the rest of Shropshire we don't get anything. What's happening, for example, with uh, youth services? I have teenage kids. Um, you know, the um, youth centres have been closed down. Support for youths, mental health issues, and I want to know, you know, what's what about that? There's so much good stuff that could go on with this money that is just getting wasted um, from just complete madness. There's no, there's no logic to it.